Welcome back to AgroGS. Today's question is leak code 1413, minimum value to get positive step-by-step -step sum. So we're given an array of integers nums. We start with an initial position value start value. In each iteration, you can calculate the step-by-step -step sum of start value plus elements in nums from left to right. Return the minimum positive value of start value such that the step-by-step -step sum is never less than one. Okay, so let's break this down. In example one, we have this nums array. Output is five. Now, why is the output five? Well, if we start at five, we add minus three to that value that's going to bring us down to two then we add two to that value that's going to bring us to four minus three is going to bring us to one and remember this is the minimum the value can never be less than one then it's five and then it's seven so five is the minimum value let's just see what the result would be if we used the value of four we subtract three from four that's going to give us one okay we're still in bound we add two gives us three we subtract three now we're at zero and this is less than one so we cannot use four so now that we have an understanding of the question let's jump into the walkthrough so for this we need to work out the start value right where the consecutive sum that is added up never drops below one so we know for a fact the minimum sum that we can have is one so we can set this to one now what happens if we loop through this and we add up the values as we go along what are we going to get well we're going to get minus three plus two it's going to give us minus one plus plus minus three is going to give us minus four, plus four is going to give us zero, and plus two is going to give us two. The minimum value we have in this is minus four. And what can we do with this? Well, if we know the minimum value, we know that by adding four to this, it's going to give us zero, but we're looking to keep a minimum of one. So if we add five to this, it's going to give us one. So this is the basic understanding of how we're gonna solve this. So we're gonna update the minimum sum as we iterate through and add up the values within this array. So let's give it a go. So we're going to loop through these numbers and we're going to add each one of these values to sum up and we're going to calculate the new minimum. Right, so let's do that. So at minus three, sum up goes to minus three. Minimum sum is updated to minus three. Move over to two, sum up is going to minus one. Minimum sum stays as minus three. Get to minus three, sum up is going to equal minus four. And then minimum sum will be updated to minus four. Move over to four, sum up goes to zero. Minimum sum stays the same. Get to two, sum up goes to two. Minimum sum stays the same. Right, so we have minus four. Now what do we need to do in order to convert this to one? Well, we could just times it by minus one, which is going to give us four, and then add one to that, which will give us five. So what happens if we have an array that's all positive? Let's walk through it and have a look. So if we sum this up, we initially get two for the sum. Minimum sum stays as one. Sum up goes to five then because we're at three. Minimum sum stays as one. Then we go to one, update sum up to six. Minimum sum stays as one. And finally, we get to seven. We add seven to six. It's going to be 13. And minimum sum stays as one. So we can just return minimum sum. Overall, the time complexity for this one is going to be O of n because we're iterating through this array. And then space is going to be O of one because we aren't allocating any extra space within this algorithm. Okay, to start, let's create the variables. So sum up is going to be equal to zero and min sum is going to be equal to one. If we loop through the nums, we increment sum up with the value. So plus equal num, and then we update minimum sum, right? So minimum sum is going to be the minimum between sum up and minimum sum. Once this executes and finishes, minimum sum is either going to be updated or it's not. And if it's not, so if min sum is greater than zero or equal to one, we can just return one. Otherwise, we need to return minus one times the minimum sum plus one. And that should give us the solution we're looking for. Let's give this a run, submit it, and there you go. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.